Hey guys, we're here in Bermuda. Bermuda is known for its amazing beaches, but the food scene here is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna be taking you to three different restaurants and trying at least nine different dishes. I'm hungry, I can't wait to eat, let's go. Welcome to the beautiful island of Bermuda, where the azure waters and lush landscapes are not the only things that leave visitors in awe. Today we delve into the tantalizing world of Bermudian cuisine, a culinary journey that reflects the island's rich history and vibrant cultural tapestry. Hey guys, we're here at Lit, AKA Lost in the Triangle. This restaurant is really close to Bermuda's best beaches on the South Shore, and I heard they have some of the best fresh local seafood, so we're here to check it out, come on. So Lit, I like it because it's like super casual, it's really close to everything, it's a really homey, cool vibe, and I know that the food's not gonna be pretentious because of that, so I'm really excited to try it out. I started out with a traditional Bermudian style fish dinner, which is fried fish, veg, peas and rice, and macaroni and cheese, and then we also had their specialty spring rolls, which were delicious, and house-made fish cakes. And then I was able to sit down with the owner, Delvin Bean, to learn more about the restaurant. I'm actually a fisherman. I supply the restaurant with fresh fish every chance I get. All different types of fish. We can put 11 different types of fish in the menu. Most restaurants have some Bermuda product, but I specialize in Bermuda product. What's then your culinary philosophy behind everything that you put out? Basically, freshness. Okay. Everything's fresh. Because our fish is all local fish, our salt content in our waters is the second highest salt content water in the world. Yeah. So our fish is naturally flavored by itself. Okay, so this avocado spring roll. One minute, come on. <laughs> it's a secret. It's very good. It's crispy. It's got uh, about four or five different things in it. Okay. And the sauce has got about four or five different things in it. It's sweet, it's yeah. crispy, it's sour. It's but that's what it is, and that's why it tastes so well, because you're getting all of that. All the flavors. And that crisp, that crunch, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's, and it's fresh. Yeah. It gets made in the kitchen every day. Okay. From scratch. Nice. Bermuda's culinary roots stretch back centuries, shaped by the convergence of various cultures that have left their indelible mark on the island's gastronomic heritage. As Bermuda evolved into a bustling port and trading center, the island attracted people from diverse backgrounds. Each community brought their unique culinary traditions, giving rise to an exciting fusion of flavors. Hey, Greg, how are you? How are you? I'm Welcome good. to Deja Vu. Thank good you, to thank see you. Again. And you? Yes, yes. So we got something special in store for you today. So we're going to bring some food out. Okay. And, um, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Yes. I'm ready. Insert foodgasm imagery. We had Korean barbecue ribeye, a sashimi poke bowl, and tuna tartar. It was all wow. Talk to me about like the kind of food that you guys are known for here. We're definitely uh, focused on um, the sushi here. So, okay. Yeah, but we, we try to make a dish for someone, everyone in the family, for the kids, and mm -hmm. then the pasta dish, the salads, the chicken Caesar salad bowl, I definitely recommend that. Yeah, we like to switch it up and try to keep things good and different. Awesome. So it's kind of like fusion, but a little bit of a Bermudian twist. For sure. So then like, what is the culinary philosophy? Lua, my partner is the head chef. He, he's from the Philippines. Okay. So Leo's got world round experience. Yeah, he, he's definitely versatile and we have a lot of great chefs here on the team. That, yeah. uh, and we just try to put an extra flair that kind of separates us from the rest. We focus on quality, yeah. consistency, and at great prices. Once you've dusted off the pink sand from Bermuda's beautiful South Shore beaches, you have to head over to Azura for the best views and incredible Bermudian food. We have a Bermuda fish sandwich here. It is fresh snapper, there's coleslaw, there is lettuce, tomato, tartar sauce, exactly what it should be on Raisin Bread. Let's dive right into it. So the bread is perfect. And then you look at the fish, right? It's fresh, it's well seasoned, it has a nice bit of crispness on it. And then you add the coleslaw, which adds that crunch, that creaminess, the tomato, the lettuce, the light tartar sauce. It is exactly what I want it to be, a perfect bite. I had the fish sandwich, it is delicious. I love the fresh snapper, I love the how you toasted it, everything. But talk to me about this fish chowder, what's in this? This is the uh, our traditional fish chowder, it's all fresh local feet. Okay. Spice, uh -huh. yeah, fresh vegetables. It has a little bit hints of rum and shrimp. Oh, in it already? Yeah, but more. Oh, okay. So let's do a little bit more yeah. and then we'll try it, yeah? Okay. okay. Just a little since you said that. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's nice and spice. We like spice. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
Mm. I taste the rum. I taste the spices. I love that it's chunky, like chunky vegetables. It's very textured, so I'm getting the bite from the carrots. I'm yeah. getting other peppers in it. Yes. I, I'm getting the tomatoes. I'm getting the fresh herb and then the fresh fish. Like yeah. this is this is delicious. Bermuda fish chowder dates back to the 17th century when it was made by English colonist in Bermuda. It's a tomato-based chowder, unlike the New England creamy clam chowder, and it usually has tomatoes, onions, and fresh fish in it. It's also served with sherry pepper sauce and Gosling's black rum. So chef, tell me a little bit about the food that you're known for here at Azura. For the creation of the food is mostly is a healthy and freshly product and light. Yeah, it's not really heavy. Okay. So mostly is a Bermudan twist mm -hmm. and European, Middle Eastern, and Asian as well. Okay. So all the menu from all over. Listen, with the yeah. view, it's perfect, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yes, of course. As you explore Bermuda's restaurants, you'll encounter dishes that tell the story of the island's past and present. Whether it's indulging in a bowl of fish chowder with a splash of sherry peppers, or savoring a traditional Sunday codfish breakfast, each bite is an invitation to connect with Bermuda's vibrant cultural tapestry. So, next time you find yourself on this enchanting island, take a moment to appreciate the tantalizing blend of flavors that make up Bermudian cuisine, a testament to the harmony that arises when diverse cultures come together around the table. As Bermudians like to say, go catch a grease, it tastes well.